Hi there, Alan Reese with the law firm of Frank and Kraft, sitting here today with Rita Wall of Yellow Tag Household Sales. Rita, how are you doing today? I'm wonderful, great. <laughs> thanks, Alan. So thanks for joining us. So tell me a little bit about Yellow Tag, uh, what you do and how you help folks. Great. Well, I am a senior mood manager okay. and also a professional organizer here in the Indianapolis area. And what is a senior mood manager? A senior mood manager specializes in helping those elderly uh, seniors or elderly people uh, move downsize relocate okay and why is it that um, that someone who's doing that would benefit from going to a senior move manager instead of just a regular mover well a senior move manager such as myself takes the time and the energy to help you sort organize declutter go through every pocket in your jackets your coats your purses, every drawer, to make sure items are, um, personal items are, are kept with you, or do we need to shred them, or do we need to donate them, or do we need to, uh, maybe you want to gift them to your children. But we take the time to go through everything. We are your personal project manager. Okay. I can imagine for some folks um, who have, um, maybe some folks who live out of state, or even if they live in, in town, uh, the, the prospect of having to go through their parents' house is, it can be a little overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Usually we get the phone calls when it's, it's very stressful. But we, we set everyone's mind at ease. In fact, our tagline is removing the stress from the family's shoulders and we just take over. So we become your adopted daughters temporarily. We come in and do your project very quickly. Um, but there are stages uh, to go through. Okay. And so we eliminate the stress from the whole family, so we can help. So a senior move manager, that sounds like that sounds like somewhat of an official title. There's um, to be a senior move manager. What does that mean? Well, one, it's a it's a new industry. Okay. We've been around since 2002. Okay. I am a member of the National Association of Senior Move Managers. So there's a national organization. There is, like. and okay. I'm a member of that, and. Uh, Right now, we are working on credentialing ourselves, okay. and so our companies will be become accredited. So you need to be in business five years or more, okay. which I have been. I'm insured. I'm bonded. I'm on Angie's list. Okay. And uh, we go through a process that is by our peers mm -hmm. that has judged uh, how we should all set standards. And um, also, we have a code of ethics that we abide by. Okay. And so there are lots of people who might be in the business, but um, do they abide by code of ethics? Um, and having strangers come into your house is a hard thing, too. So, sure. You know, I, I feel that we have built a reputation uh, with, that, with around central Indianapolis that um, we abide by a code of ethics. We come into people's home and uh, respect and honor all their heirlooms, their memories, and we take care of what needs to happen to make that downsize or aging in place. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then when it's time to relocate, make it happen, and they're all ready to go. Okay. So um, you said Central Indiana. To get a sense, just for folks who may be watching it at, at home, the sort of the territory you cover, is it it's sort of just Marion County? Is it the surrounding counties? Well, we, uh, our, our firm covers a 90 minute radius of the Indianapolis area. Okay. We can do, we can help people locally, but also we can move people nationwide. Wow. Okay. So through our, my national association of senior move managers, maybe, in, in fact, this is a great deal of our business. Uh, your adult children might have moved to a different city. Right. And so it's time now when you've planned through your estate planning attorney, such as yourself, that uh, it's time to put the house up for sale and move closer to the grandchildren and the children. Okay. And they might li live in Oregon or Nevada or New Jersey. Right. And um, so it's no longer kind of thinking about living in warm climates. It's thinking about where your children live and being closer. All right. And so we can move people nationwide and help them settle the property here. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit, say give a, an example uh, not names obviously but an example of somebody that you helped out and made their lives easier oh gee there's a lot but i guess i'll, I'll think of the most recent okay um in december um uh, a, a couple um they're both in their late 70s 
and uh, the wife has uh, Alzheimer's. Um, in fact, it's it's one of the most progressive stage of Alzheimer's, where okay. she could not talk. She's bedridden, and uh, and this is quite interesting too. Where um, I have found within the last couple of years, a lot of parents are moving in with their children, and so the uh, I moved from Carmel, Indiana, to Geist, which is another area here in Indianapolis. Sure. Uh, the uh, daughter redid her whole lower level wow. and made it into a two-bedroom uh, apartment for her parents. Okay. And uh, and so that's where they're going. So we helped the uh, the father um, pack everything, arrange for movers. Uh, we helped him sell items that he no longer needed, and and the liquidator wrote him a check and got his house all ready for real estate showings. Okay. That's uh that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> well, it, it's easy for us because uh, we you know how to do it. We have all those resources in our hip pocket. We just make a couple phone calls and it just happens. Wow. And we can we can do a house fairly quickly. So you mentioned a little bit earlier. I mean, not everyone who moves seniors is a senior manager. Um, so talking about sort of the things you think you maybe do better than some of the other folks out there. Um, the, in this field, like, what do you think you do a particularly good job of relative to other folks who do this? Well, let's see. Um, you mentioned bonded, so that's good. I mean, well, we're bonded and insured, um, but uh, what we do well is we just take care of the whole transition. Mm -hmm. So whether a person ages in place, which I think a lot of people are staying in their homes until they absolutely have to. You see a lot more of that. Yeah. We do. So. Uh, we can go in and help just people organize, declutter. Uh, in fact, uh, talking about families, we worked with uh, a, a, a father and a daughter who lived in two separate properties. Right. And uh, actually, their house hasn't sold. And they loved what we did, helping them just clean out stuff that mm -hmm. they no longer wanted. That they go, oh, gosh, we're going to stay here now. <laughs> <laughs> so they took their house off the market. But we can help people, you know, just declutter, get rid of stuff you no longer need that adds chaos and congestion to your home. Sure. Um, so that making aging in place more comfortable, more relaxed. Uh, when it is time to move, though, I would recommend, we find this a lot, that people wait too late mm. to move, uh, move into a retirement community. Um, they wait till a crisis should happen where they get sick or they fall. Mm. And so I think planning ahead is very important. Sure. Um, so, you know, working with your elder law attorney, such as yourself, your estate planner, um, your financial planner, your accountant, and putting everything into place. Uh, another service while we're talking about that is while we do the pre-planning process, our firm also helps people uh, take pictures and we document the whole family assets, the possessions of the home. Oh, that's nice. So that when it comes time to move, or God forbid the loved one should pass away, it's documented what the household assets are. Okay. And then that way the adult children can have the distribution go smoother and easier. Um, and then it's all ready for the uh, state taxes and things like that. Sure. Um, just in terms of closing thoughts, are there, is there any sort of advice you'd want to give to folks who are either are looking at some problems that you might help deal with or just more generally things to keep in mind when folks have to deal with getting older and, and maybe moving? Well, the biggest thing I recommend is plan, plan, plan. Wait for, t you know, don't wait for a crisis as I just mentioned. Sure. Plan today. Work with your elder law attorney. Work with your financial planner. Um, Use services such as ours to help you uh, liquidate excess, chaos, things like that, uh, so that it just makes your living much more easier. Uh, go visit uh, retirement communities. If you want to live near your children, when you go out to visit, um, look at different communities that might fit your needs. Uh, look for what fits your personality social-wise. Uh, do you need Bible study classes? Do you like activities? Is food important? Is socialization important? Um, do your research and investigate. Otherwise, if you wait for a crisis, then your loved ones are going to be forced to make a decision 
you may not like, mm. but sometimes it's too late to do it. That is great so advice. plan today. That is great advice. Uh, often we run into that. We're, we're, uh, folks wait to the last minute and they just, they're just they not informed enough to make a decision that's really in the best interest of everybody. Well, I mean, a lot of people call me and say, Reed, I wish I would have known about your services earlier, five years ago, or I wish I would have done it when we first talked. So I would say to you, please, don't procrastinate. Start today and just do it in stages slowly, and uh, it'll all get done. <laughs> Rita, thanks so much for sitting with us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Rita Wall of Yellow Tape Hassle with Sales, uh, sitting with us here today at the Elder Care Channel. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to check out the channel, or if you have any questions specifically about needing to move, feel free to contact Rita uh, off our website. Thank take you. It. Take care.